So once someone clicks on your ad and shows that they want your product, the next thing that you want to do is send them over to a landing page. There are a lot of different softwares that you can use to create landing pages, but you want to use a software that integrates with your Amazon discount codes so that it gives out a discount code when someone enters their email address and sends them on the link to purchase your product from Amazon. I'm just going to show you how to set this up now. I'm now on that AMS promoter page. So first thing I'm going to do is scroll over to where it says sign up, click on sign up. Then I'm just going to enter my details here to start my free 21 day trial. Then just have to enter a password and a card number. Again, your card won't be charged unless you go over the 21 day trial. So if you're not happy within the 21 days of starting it, you can simply cancel it inside and your card won't be charged. So I'm just gonna go ahead once you've your details entered and just click start free trial. Then you just get this intro message. So you can read this as this just states, your card will be automatically charged at the end of your free trial and will continue to be charged for every month after that. So you can just click cancel if you want to cancel it inside your members area. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click get started now. Then you just have to fill out the survey here. So to start your first campaign, just go over here to where it says new campaign, click on the new campaign. Then you just want to go ahead and enter in a campaign name here. So I'm just going to do promo. Then you select the marketplace. So for this example, the US is OK. Landing page language, English is OK. Then you just have to grab your product ASIN and enter it in here. So to grab your ASIN, just jump over to your listing on Amazon. Scroll down to the middle of the page. Or you can get this inside Seller Central if you wish. You can grab your ASIN here, just copy it, and then just go back to AMZ Promoter. And just enter in your ASIN here, and then your promo URL. So you can just enter an URL here. Then enter your end time for your promotion. So we're just gonna enter in an end date for this promotion, the 22nd of June, that's okay and then your product URL. So you just go back to Amazon, just grab your product URL up here up the top and jump back to AMZ Promoter and enter it in here. And you just wanna go ahead and click Create and Continue. Then enter in your promo title. So I'm just gonna write. Then your regular price, which is 29.98, automatically put in. And then just your promotion price. So for this one, it's gonna be 14. 99. Then the next thing you need to do is just integrate it with your autoresponder somewhere that the emails can be stored when people enter their email address. So just go ahead and click here to integrate it with your email autoresponder. Then just select which service you're using. The service that I use is Aweber, but I've also used MailChimp and that one is okay as well. But for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and click connect with Aweber. Then you just need to allow access for AMZ promotion to access your Aweber. So I'm just going to click allow access. And as you can see, simple as that, it's now connected. And then once you have it integrated with your email autoresponder, you just want to go over to your email provider. And for me, it's Aweber and just set up a list so that you can connect it with this list. So I'm just gonna jump over to Aweber now. As you can see, it's really simple. Inside Aweber, you have your menu bar. Just click on Manage Lists, and then go and click on Create a List. This is just so that it's linked to your company. Again, this isn't very important. Just your URL, if you have a website, just put it in here. Then scroll down. On every autoresponder, you need to put in your address. So again, just put in the address that's gonna be shown on your messages here. 
and scroll down, then just put in the sender's name and the sender's email address. Again, if you have your own uh, personalized email address for your brand, I'd put it in here, as this will be the email address that respondents will get emails from. So this is all okay. Just go ahead and click next step, and then just name your list. So for this one, I'm just going to name this Yoga Panda. Briefly described, just put in a quick description uh, where they came on your list. As you can see, just wrote there, signed up for a Yoga Panda promotion. This is where they would have came on your list. Again, you can write in Facebook or your own website or wherever they're signing in. But for this, this is okay just to put in what they signed up for so that they'll recognize it if they're ever wondering again in the future how they got on your list. Then just go ahead and click next step. So then you need to just choose your subject line for the first email that goes out to them. So basically once they sign up to your list, they're going to get an automated email that goes out to them. So this needs a pre-approved subject. So I'm just going to leave it at confirm your subscription because anyone who comes on your list um, has to confirm their subscription to your list so that you can email them again about future promotions. So again, this is all okay. It's just saying, please click on the link below if you want to confirm to receive emails from Yoga Panda. And then once you've this done, just approve message and create list. So now you can see your list has been created. And up here, you can see current list, Yoga Panda. So I'm just gonna jump back to that AMS promoter page now. And that's all connected up. So I'm gonna go up here, you see campaign. This means your campaign is open. So click on this and you'll be able to see all of your different campaigns inside here if you have a few of them set up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click edit. And as you can see, I put in this part before, but I'll just put it in again by double tapping on it. Limited discount, 50% off. This was 14.99, so I'm just gonna put that in. And then your mail list integration, it's Aweber. And then your enter your email list name, so this one was Yoga Panda, the one I've just created. So as you can see, it integrates with your autoresponder and then it just picks the list that you want to add the new people who come on your list to. So this is the list they're gonna come on, is onto the Yoga Panda list. If you leave this unticked, they will have to confirm their email address before they receive their coupon. So you will get more people confirming their email address, but less people taking you up on the offer. Whereas if you take it, you will get more people taking you up on the offer and less people confirming their email address. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take it so that they go straight to the coupon page. They can get their coupon, they can go over to Amazon, purchase it, and then confirm their email address later when they're checking their emails. Then this next one where it skips email collection altogether. If someone clicks on the claim button, they will not be asked to even enter their email address. So you will not collect any email addresses whatsoever if you tick this box. So I'm gonna leave this one unticked. But if you were sending people who had already subscribed to your list an offer, then you could tick this box because you don't need to get them back on your list again. So when you're doing future promotions and promote new products to this list that you're building, you can tick this and they will not have to confirm onto your list again. They will be given the offer straight away. So it's good if you are sending it out as an email. But for this one, I'm gonna leave it unticked so that we'll collect the email addresses. And then this next one is just, do you want a countdown timer? If you don't untick this, but I'm gonna leave it ticked as a countdown timer will increase your conversion rate. This will create urgency and get people to collect your code and make a purchase quicker than they would without the countdown code. So then just scroll down again. You have a number of options here. So the first one is limit each coupon to a single IP address. So if you want to ensure that no one claims more than one code, you could take this top one because what will happen here is it will track their IP address. So if they claim a code with the same computer and then they log back in, they try to claim another code using the same IP address, they will not be able. But I'm gonna leave this unticked as it's not a very heavy discount that I'm giving off. 50% is still okay, but if you were giving it away for, we'll say $1, $2, then I would tick this as this will stop someone getting a lot of different coupon codes and making a lot of purchases off your product. But again, gonna leave this unticked and then limit each coupon to a single email address. 
So once you have these filled out, just go ahead and click update and continue. As you can see, campaign successfully updated. Then just scroll up. Here you can see, we'll just enter in the custom offer email info here. So just who the email is gonna be from. This is just gonna be the email that sends the code to whoever enters their email address. And then email subject, your coupon code. And then you just want to enter in your Facebook link here. So I'm gonna do that. Just gonna jump over to the Yoga Panda Facebook page. Basically, this is all you need to copy after the facebook.com. So I'm just gonna copy that and enter that in here. I'm gonna leave the Twitter empty. And again, you can even leave the Facebook one empty if you wish, and it just won't have it on the page. Again, I'm gonna leave the website link empty but if you have a website for your brand then just put in your website link here and do the same with twitter here email body you can make up an email body if you want but if you leave this blank it gives the default one which is actually just pretty good it's a pretty generic one that just says you know this is your uh, coupon code and that's basically it but if you want to add to that uh, just put in your email here that you want sent out but i'm just going to continue on Scroll down again, your custom coupon claim message. So after they claim the coupon, you can put in a custom message here. But for this example, I'm gonna keep moving on. And again, your frequently asked questions. You can uh, edit them so that you have your own frequently asked questions put in here. Otherwise they will just put in their default ones, which is good. Or if you don't want any at all, just take this off. But their default ones are very good. So I'm just gonna leave them in and then just click update and continue. Then you're on to the next page here, which just asks you to enter your logo. So I'm just gonna click here and then just find your logo on your computer and double click it and it will come up here. Again, it will need to be at these dimensions. So then once you've that done, we're ready to move on to the next step. So we'll just update and continue. And then here, as you can see, from the URL we gave them from our Amazon listing, it picks up our product images. So you can just pick your images straight off the images on Amazon and they will come up on your coupon code page also what's amazing you can add a youtube video to this page so they can watch a video about your product which really get customers into it and increases the chances of them going on to actually redeem the code and buy your product so if you're building out this page and you have a youtube video or a video of a customer using your product a customer review or anything like that then i would enter it in here Again, you just have to enter in the embedded code from your YouTube video, as it shows here, all really easy. And just put it in here, and then your video will be on your coupon code page, so they can actually see a video of your product being used. But for this example, I'm just gonna click update and continue. So then you just want to click on the select file and select the file that has your codes on it. So the the file that has your codes from Amazon on it. So then once you have your file put on that has all your claim codes from Amazon, just click upload and continue. The next thing you want to do is just add your Facebook pixel. So I'm just gonna jump over to Facebook Ads Manager and show you how to do this. So to get Facebook Ads Manager, you just type in Facebook Business Manager into Google and then this will pop up. Click on this first link and then you will be able to create your account. If you don't have an account created, it's very straightforward as it just links to your Facebook account. So you can create an account if you don't have one. And if you do, just go ahead and just uh, click up here in the top left corner on Facebook adverts, jump over to where it says pixels, click on pixels, and then you want to go to create a pixel. The next thing you want to do is to name a pixel. I'm just going to name this pixel yoga panda and then click next then the next thing you want to do is just install your pixel and then you want to click on where it says copy and paste the code so then what you need to do is just scroll down here click on the board that copies it to your clipboard then you just want to jump back to your amazon promotion you just want to paste this in here fine once that's pasted in there just jump back and then go ahead and click next. And the next thing you want to do is just get your event code. Then scroll down here to where it says lead. Click on lead. Just click on this box and that will copy this script. So when someone signs up for your code, it will trigger this pixel. And this way you will be able to track how many people that landed on your page went ahead and entered their name and email address and got your code. So I'm just going to jump back and 
paste this one in here and click update and finish and as you see here you can easily see how many coupons has been claimed or anything from this page i'll just scroll back over here so if you click on your campaigns you can see all of the campaigns that you've set up but i'm just going to go and click on preview now to see a preview of our page see this is our page again you you can add what you want you can add your own logo here you can add other images here these are just the ones I pulled from Amazon this is your 50% off code here so if you come in here this is just your about the product section which is dragged in from Amazon so whatever your bullets are on Amazon it will be dragged in here again anyone who comes here can click claim your code these are the frequently asked questions these were just the default ones that I left but you can change these about and put in your own custom ones it's really straightforward to use it's such an easy landing page to build because it integrates so well with amazon and with your auto responder that it just makes it all so easy so i'm going to scroll up now and just close down this page once you're happy with it you can just click start and your page will go live so i'm just going to do that now your campaign is now live so this is your url that you'll be giving people that you want to click on your page or to claim a code so i'm just going to jump over now and go to this page and just to test it all out scroll down here click on claim your coupon enter James Rainey and my email address and then click get coupon and then as you can see straight away here the coupon popped up because I selected not to have to opt in before giving the coupon codes whereas if I had selected that you want to opt in then this would have been emailed to me and only given to me after I confirm my email address so now it makes it really easy customer can just click here can just click copy coupon jump over to Amazon brings you straight over to your listing they see the price here they can just click add to cart and there they go when they go to add to cart they just enter in the promotion code it's so simple this is the email then that goes out to everyone who signs up for your coupon code this is just a pretty generic email but it gets straight to the point and really makes someone make the purchase if they haven't made the purchase already so as you can see it just reads thank you for requesting your promo code for this special offer to claim your code just click the get coupon code below and as you can see if they click this they will get the option to get the code and to make the purchase straight away so this really encourages them to make the purchase if they haven't already done so and this will go out to everyone who entered their email address on the landing page it's all set up automatically for you it saves you setting up so much it really makes setting up your promotions that much easier now that you see how easy it is to set up an amazing landing page that is really going to promote your product and get it selling i'm going to show you next how you can promote your landing page to as many people as possible for the lowest cost using facebook ads i'll speak to you on the next video so once someone clicks on your ad 